Hey everybody and welcome to part uh, 59 of Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Now I realize that I might be doing uh, a little bit of a lot of uh, <laughs> Bowser's Inside Story, but don't worry, no it's not going to happen, it will happen. I just figured I might want to get a dent to this considering it's been, you know, two years old since I dropped the project. Now my voice sounds a little uh, weird, I understand that. Uh, that's just because I'm actually uh, getting over a cold, so I didn't want to get that in the way of my recording. But, so. So yeah, in the last part, we got Bowser Freeze, you can see above there, and in this part, we're going to continue on with the story. Nothing, um, no side quest stuff, just plain old story, so can you hear me? Need your advice. I'm just going to let the cutscene unfold. No need for me to really, to, to narrate over it. Okay, so he's going to talk about his back hurting, and as you can see, he's going to say he's not going to be able to move at all, and now he's going to ask us to do something. Figures, right? This is the Nintendo way. To get from point A to point B, you have to go to point C, develop a point E, learn a skill so you can go to point G, only to come back to point B, and then therefore come to point C. And then from there you realize that you really should have gone to point B. So, I think I, I have no idea, I'm completely at a loss as to if that made any sense or not, but uh, at any rate, we see Toadsworth here, yay, new area, we need someone else to introduce us and tell us what we have to do, right? So, this place soothes his soul, apparently. And I'm not going to question that, because, you know, to each his own. <laughs> so, uh, and yes, I do realize I say so really weird. If you have a problem, you can exit this video right now. I dare, I dare, I'll double dare you. Unsubscribe, dislike this video. I dare you. Watch. See how many, see how many dislikes I get. Come on, let's go. Just comment. Do something to my video. Just go. <laughs> Just, uh, whatever. <laughs> um, so, yeah. This scene's going on. Uh, once I'm actually gonna, I'll talk, I'll talk about this while this is happening. I'm gonna clip my uh, headset to my. Wow, that is that is so much easier. My wire's not getting all tangled anymore. That's pretty good. I just I clip my like I have this little clip button to clip the wire to my shirt. I just did that. That's great. Definitely gonna do that from now on. So we gotta stimulate the spot. And absolutely nothing's gonna happen, obviously, because if Toadsworth was able to do it, then why would the Mario Brothers be called to the scene or even see it? It would happen after the fact, de facto. No, that's not even close to the <laughs> that's not even close to the meaning of de facto. So, uh, so yeah, he sees leadership to Masters Mario, Masters Luigi. I am not surprised. Toadsworth is probably one of the biggest loofs in the Mario series. He doesn't do a single thing right. I don't understand why Peach even needs a steward if all he's gonna do is be really annoying. And let me pick the right one. God. Okay, uh, there we go. There we go. And we're just gonna. And that's gonna get the sound saying that we did something right. So that's good. We did something right. Ho ho. I dare say it is working. Yes, slowly working. And that British accent, whatever. Toads with Bobo Goody, I was looking for you. Ah, uh, Master Toadbirth. Rather a serendipitous time to arrive. Masters Mario and Luigi are drilling below as we speak. Yes, tis a standard slow back simulation operation. Really, that sounds fascinating, Baba Goody. You mind if I watch as it slowly works as magic? My toadly word, Toadbert voice was really weird. But anyway, it takes a long time, so... This is a Nintendo's, um... <laughs> go green, go outside, Nickelodeon's day of play kind of thing, where we're gonna have a, a little bit of a break in between there. So I'm actually gonna take that time and a little catch up with you guys. You know what I mean? You know, tea time. Take a break. You know, we get get to get to get, get a one up with you guys. You know, I, I've been I've been involved with a couple projects. This is the best time for me to really talk about them. So I'm getting pops left and right <laughs> as I can look at my look at my audio screen. Pops left and right, including right now. Pop. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, DS system, but we'll just talk. So, yeah, um, you know, it's it's been it's been it's been quite a quite a busy time I've been having. Uh, I've been recently doing a lot, working with a lot of people, great people. Um, maybe I'll put some links up. Maybe I won't. Depends on how I'm feeling. But like, we've been working on some really cool projects. Um, as you guys all know, Awesome Yell is one of my real close time friends. You know, kind of got an LPing with him. We are, we're actually working on a couple of things for um, a, new, a new company that we're thinking about starting up. It's, uh, it's called Power Studios, um, and we're basically going uh, to be making a lot of different just stuff. Because we figured we make a lot of stuff, as you guys maybe have seen from our... Uh, wait, what's... Oh, it's not, not, not done yet. 
but um as you guys could probably have seen from my uh my channel i've been having a lot of um a lot of whatchamacallits going on. Sorry, I'm trying to think of the word. I've been having a lot of uh, game videos up. And I might have also put DD a bridge, which is our next thing we're going to talk about in there. But yeah, Power Studios, upcoming company. You know, definitely try to check it out. We're trying to get it started. So I've been busy trying to work on, you know, I have a list of projects right here up on my desk. Let's see. Let me read down the list. I have a Digi Bridge, which is the a bridge series of Digimon that I'm doing. I believe I talked about it in the previous video, but, you know, whatever. Um, we're, write, we're writing some shows called Power Diddle Music, trying to write some music stuff when he's going. And, you know, just stuff along the lines of that, the game, yeah. And then I'm trying to get back into le else, Let's Playing. The reason I wasn't, like, took so long to come back is mainly because, um... Around September, I'm involved in my school's marching band, which, by the way, we almost got second place. I'll tell you that story a little bit later, but, um, you know, that's kind of a really annoying story for me. I get really mad when I say it, so I don't really want to talk, bother you guys with the details right now. But, um, so because I'm in the marching band and because I have so many things going on with my life, I just, I didn't get a chance really to sit down and do Let's Playing. But now that marching band's a little bit over and I have a couple more times, I'm finding I'm having a couple more time now, uh, you know, I'm trying to get back into this because this is really a passion of mine i really enjoy doing this um you know yeah so i think i did i did i time that perfectly right wow i timed that perfectly right and that alarm means that we have to press the button all right so that was kind of a heart to heart mostly me talking because obviously you guys can't talk to me because this is a video so uh my back is loosening up and as you can probably imagine, we're going to get a new move from this, and this move is going to be used throughout this area extensively in Nintendo fashion. So, don't get too excited, throw out a whack again, and then of course he's going to say he feels even better than he normally does, so this is all kind of predictive. We find I've already figured this out, by the way. One thing I did notice about this game that I didn't really like is the fact that you don't get all your abilities until the very end. You're still learning new abilities up until the very end of the game. Um, that's either a cool thing and a bad thing. I, I thought it was kind of a little uh, annoying because then I really get a chance to use these, uh, use them as much as I can. They don't really like co correspond and stuff. But uh, yeah, so now we can curl up into a spike ball. Correct. You simply switch that action icon, and he's just going to teach us how to how to activate the spike ball. The move's called the spike ball. So let's see here. Bowser has punch, flame. He has sliding punch. Still not, still haven't made that pun, thank God. And this thing, which is called the spike ball. And it's great. Kellogg's flakes. They're great. I messed that slogan up, I think. I think it was uh Kell Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're great. Tony the Tiger. There we go. So you can kind up on walls and you can walk on water. Call it Bowser Jesus. And so Chippy, where am I? And Peach's castle. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna talk about Peach being held somewhere in the castle. This is this is really annoying stuff. I don't I don't feel like talking through this. And we've already gone through like <laughs> eight minutes of the video. I have to I have to show off a couple new things. Now, now how's he gonna side? Junky freaks. Better use my new move to get out. Indeed, the new move is what we're gonna have to do. So if you go into spike ball, as you can see, we can roll over here. We can't really do much though. So let's go up here on this spike wall. And I like staying at this guy staying in this state because we get the opportunity um we get the opportunity sorry my sound effects are going crazy <laughs> I, I just stopped that i think i had a girl yelling or something on my bad but um yeah this is a little bit of a speed thing so first things first gonna come over here i'm gonna break this for a chalk road so let's do that have to activate it normally unfortunately so we aspire to travel let's just open it up to activate it there we go yeah we want to quit <coughs> excuse me wrong button of course and let me break all these because that's what i love to do and let me show off this new enemy um as bowser so this guy we can fight him as bowser obviously and something different happens so it's the same attack as where we were with the mario brothers oh i messed up i messed up i messed up no <laughs> it's been a while. I actually forget how to. So oh, come on, man. So now, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to choose an attack that damages them. And after they get damaged, they, uh, there's a little thing in there that you actually have to swallow as the Mario Brothers, and then uh, fight them as off the Mario Brothers. Let me go for the. There we go. And if you kill them in battle, of course, the animation gets tricks up. Come on, dude. Just really though. 
Hopefully he shows it off. If I don't get to show it off though, no big deal. We fought these guys as the Mario Brothers. Whatever, I didn't get a chance to show it off. I showed off one battle as them. That's all that's necessary. A um, couple blitties in here that I'm going to have to try to get. But that's just going to come with me fighting the enemies. So, nothing really important or uh, uh, something I have to go out of my way for. It. So, let me just... What I actually want to do next is, now that I remember what I have to do, I actually want to go back into uh, Kavi Cape. So, let's head into that chalk road. There's just something I, want, I need to get. A new, a better item. Better uh, gear equipment for Bowser. So, I guess I'll speed up to me going to Kavi Cape. Unless we can, uh... Which one would it be? It'd probably be this one. The Coffee Cape Exit. Now we travel with our minds. Is this it? This is it. Yep. So, um, yeah. I guess I'll, I'll speed up if once I finish my dialogue. So, like I was saying, Power Studios. Definitely want to check them out. Um, you know, it's an upcoming company, of course. It's it, We're still working on a lot of things. We're working, working through a lot of, uh kicks trying to get this car company going um but definitely a cool company i like the idea of it and we got to blow this down no fire there we go okay now let me go back into my ball uh let's let's try to not fight that chaboomba because it's gonna be so easy for us to kick his butt of course we fight him let me just do this. i can even put that on camera 15 experience points, and we don't even need to worry about that. So, I believe this is the place where we have to go. Uh, it might be sidestepping. I don't... It's sidetracking, not sidestepping. Uh, I forget. Yeah, this is... I'm actually just going in the opposite direction. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, there's a good item here. Uh, good... Good gear item for Bowser to get here. That's just... What's over here? What's What significance does that tree serve? A tree serves no significance. It's doing absolutely nothing in this world. And that, that, and that reason alone is why we have to blow it down. Oh, uh, is this the place? This isn't the place. We're gonna have to go probably up here. That's where you have to go. There's a cool item up here, believe me when I tell you. Ironclad shell. That is, mm, sorry, the item that I was going for. Because if we select it. One second. Anyways, um, so yeah, let's let's replace our rampage shell with the ironclad shell. Such a better shell, if you ask me. And now what we can do now is we can go back there and sell it. So I'm actually gonna try to speed, uh, cut ahead to when I'm back in uh, what should we call it, a good place in, in Peach's Castle is where I have to go. And we are back now. Now that we have the ironclad shell, I want to go up here real quickly and I want to do something where I sell my old rampage shell, get some monies. And then maybe buy some goods or something. See what happens. Now, again, like I said, I need to wait some time before I can get my uh, ideal my ideal wardrobe. So buying gear is not really much of an option. I more or less want to just sell it. So if I could just find find that where the rampant shell doesn't really sell for much, but whatever. I will take it. Let me go get some uh, after this is done. Let's buy some items now. So over here, let's buy a DNT or let's buy uh, four of those and maybe ten of those. That should be good. And then I, I'm going to try to get the bonus card, see what I do with the bonus card. Let's see, this one right here. I got a mushroom, not bad. I didn't get a star. Star would get you a lot. Uh, this is grand. 10% of my coins back. It's better than nothing. Let's get out of here. Uh, nothing. Now let's continue on with the story, for real. I promised you guys storyline. I will do that. As you can see, now that we have the Bowser thing, we can really continue on where we have to go. And over here, up in this joint, we have a lot of fawful statues, which we can break now that we have this awesome ability. Going up here, we have another, I believe, another shell. Nope, TNT drumsticks, which are great, because they heal a lot of HP. They're like max things for us. Well, I don't think they're max things for us right now, considering we're pretty, we're decent size leveled. So, 100 coins right there. Always good. We have a new enemy in here. So, let's talk about these guys. Now, these guys send out... Okay, these... Uh, these bomb things, guys. Number one. Let me just start off with them. The bomb things, guys, cannot be fought as with Bowser. They're pointless as Bowser. You're going to want to ingest these guys to continue on with the real fight with them. And there's a Blitty in there, too. Let me grab that Blitty. And... I don't know how I'm doing with Blitties, but uh, we'll figure that out. We'll, we'll check that out. I might get some cool, um, some cool rewards for that. So first things first, let us 
it's okay if we beat one up because the other one will always be fine. These guys, as far as attacking goes, are easy. You just gotta slam your hammer and make sure when they're rolling like this, you can get them. Just try to hit them. Just try to hit them before they get. Before this happens. So because I'm scared about what's gonna happen. There we go. God damn it! Oh wow. Yeah, this, they're dead. They're dead. Mario Brothers are dead. And that means that I'm dead, which means I gotta use another reach eye clock on camera because I'm so stupid. God, you must love this. Yeah, you guys must love this, don't you? This whole, oh, oh, I'm gonna. Uh, okay, you could, maybe you can damage him as Bowser. Okay, then. You guys must love this whole me using reach eye clocks on things that I don't need to use reach eye clocks on. Oh, God. I hate everything. <laughs> I blame me not being fresh enough when I first started this battle. Let me first get this going. I didn't even get a chance to kill them off. But you guys saw their attack. You guys saw what they do. You guys saw how annoying it is to fight them. So you'll you'll be able to see me. Oh man. There we go. And then we didn't we didn't get hurt by that, by the way. But from them exploding. That's the one attack you'll have. He'll have another attack once you wake him up. Which you should probably be doing about now. He'll be awake now. And then he'll use this attack, which is what um, he creates a bunch of blocks and tries to throw it at us. Really simple, just put down your shell at the last possible second. I didn't do it my last possible second, I'm probably gonna get hurt. It requires some precise timing in order to beat in order to get that going for you. Shouldn't be too hard, though. As you can see, I'm getting a lot of great hits, because um, I have that lucky band on. The reason I have the lucky band on is because it works better than any power band that we, have, we would get going. Let's open that for an ultra syrup. And let's fight this guy, too. Off camera. Okay. And so, as you can see at that very end, I actually did not require the Mario Brothers, because I just used flame, and by using flame, I completely obliterated them. So I should be getting into... Okay, here we go. This is where I plan on ending this part today. After this little cutscene, which is going to demonstrate us exactly what we're going to have to do. So, hey, look what happened. Bowser's in Peach's castle. This is really a cool cutscene. So, Fawful predicted we were never going to make it to Peach's castle, but, you know, we did. So, Fawful shocked at us getting here, but the shock towards his turtles as you stop here, apparently. Which I'd like to see how he could try to stop us, which, because we were rowing and cannoning with... The Nintendo luck on our side. So, very modified castle peach. Take five from lack of doors. <laughs> that's my best. That's the best sound I can make for that. <laughs> I just like a little anime. <laughs> no that's great. I'm sorry. But Fawful has the greatest one liners of all history. So, we gotta catch these Fawful copters. That sounds like fun. Um, but in the next part, we'll get these Fawful coppers going. And first things first. 50 coins. And so, yeah, like the next part, we'll get the Falful Copters, all three of them, we'll get the keys inside of them. And that, my friends, is a promise. But until then, I'm gonna have to say Sayonara until next time. Phoenix Man 1015, and with a kiss of the lips, we go to bed. Mwah. I. I'm gonna not question that. Never mind. Bye! Bye. Stop watching. Stud muffin. Okay, I'm serious. I did not. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>